the writing of Dane, what his character is, and Jonathan Majors' acting makes this a superb character. All right, let's talk about this. You know, I know this has been a well, while, but let's talk Creed, Creed 3. You see, I did a Creed 3 review that I recorded, but I'm glad that I didn't post that and I'm posting this because... So there's this channel called Freevee, and they have pretty much all the Rocky films um, showing as a marathon from Rocky 1 to Rocky 5. So I've just been looking at watching Rocky again, watching Rocky 2 again, and I'm like, bro, like, this, like, these are very good films. In terms of, like, a long-running series, I think it is the best long-running series. I, it's better than, than Scream, for sure, and it's better than Fast and Furious, for, for sure. Because I remember when I watched... When I watch this Creed 3, anybody who's seen it, it is very similar to Rocky 3. See, now this is going to be a spoiler re re review because I just think most guys have seen it, so I'm going to make this a spoiler review. So if you've seen Creed, if you've seen Creed 3, you would know, you would know that it is, it follows the same kind of broad strokes that Rocky 3 does. Very similar. But I think that Rocky 3 did it far better than Creed 3. But I'm going to just to see those films because it is important that I watched those films just to remind me and refresh my memory of the Rocky films because it goes part and parcel as to the issues I have with Creed 3. See, Creed 3 is a complicated one because we've got to talk about Stallone and how Stallone isn't featured on this and the kind of issues that you're now having between Stallone and Erwin Winkler, who is the one of the producers of Rocky from the first one and who actually owns the rights. Because... The film is not Rocky. It does. And the reason why Creed 1 and 2 work, specifically Creed, and I, and I watched Creed yesterday, last night. The reason why Creed 1 and 2 work, specifically Creed, which I which I, I ran Creed as the third best in the whole series, is because of Rocky. Adonis Creed doesn't work by himself. Adonis Creed needs Rocky to work. But here's where it gets even much more complicated. Jonathan freaking Majors. He is... Easily the best thing about this film. And his character of Dame is great because we have to draw parallels, which is why I'm so glad I watched Rocky 3. The beauty of Rocky 3, yes, it's cheesy, Eye of the Tiger, and so forth, but the beauty of Rocky 3 is what Stallone did with the story, i.e., you were before you were down and out, you were a nobody, now you're big time, you become rich, you become famous, and by doing that, you lose your edge. By doing that, you become less real soft. And by doing that, you lack that kind of, you know, that kind of grit, that hunger that you once had in Rocky One, which is what Mickey says to him. And then you have the character of Clubber Lang played superbly by Mr. T. Here's the thing. Mr. T played Clubber Lang amazingly well in Rocky Three. But that character is written totally one-dimensional. The reason why Clubber Lang is, um, why we love him and is amazing is all because of Mr. Mr. T. The, the writing of the character is trash. Like, the character has zero depth. As opposed to Creed 3, where the writing of Dane, what his character is, and Jonathan Majors' acting makes this a superb character. He is so good. The character is so well-written. Jonathan Majors is so good in the role that at a point I'm like, I actually want him to win. I care more about him because when he talks about how I should have been the guy, I should have taken, if I didn't go to jail, I would be the pound for pound, the number one boxer because he was, he was, he was ranked the number one boxer for their under, for, for, for their age group. So if he hadn't gone to jail, he would have been that freaking dude. And I think the best scene in the whole thing was when, Dame meets Adonis for the first time in that diner. And Dame just talks about how he was supposed to be that guy. And he could just see the hot and how much it pained him that he missed out on that boxing career because he went to free, free freaking jail. And how maybe he put a little bit of guilt on Adonis. I was like, that was just played beautifully well. But the issue with Creed 3 and the issue with what Michael B. Jordan is doing with this in the franchise is... You have to look at what makes the Rocky series brilliant. In every Rocky, there's loss. So, you see, the only one that doesn't have loss is maybe Rocky 2, but from Rocky 3 onwards, there's loss. Rocky 3, the loss of Mickey. 
and what that does to him. And him losing that fight to Clubber Lang. Rocky IV, the loss of Apollo Creed. And his best friend and his guilt for um, getting Apollo Creed killed. And that is the that is the catalyst for Creed. And Rocky V, the loss of all of the money because of that, <laughs> that bomb as can could not as poorly. The issue with Creed 3, so Creed 3, look, it's a good film. Like for me, Creed 3 is a is a good film, it's a good box film. I if we're ranking the Creed series, I don't say Creed is the best, followed by Creed 3 and Creed 2. I think this is better than part two, but it's not better than part one, no. But I just think that as good as the film is, as good as the, the acting is really, really good, it's a good, it's I really like the story. They didn't really have that loss element. Because the the beat up of the Rocky films is you see loss. And even in Rocky 2. In Rocky 2, you see he's finding it hard to be the superstar because he can't read. So because he, he, he can't read and so forth and he's not very well educated, he can't do any of the com co commercials, you know, and so forth. And that is something that affects him. And you also see the, the what happens with them um, and almost miscarriage by Adrian. So there is something he's always dealing with. In Creed 3, there's no loss, really. Okay, again, spoilers and so forth. His mom. His mom dies. But even when that... You see, when his mom died, it didn't impact me when Apollo Creed died. It didn't impact me when Mickey died. You know, it didn't even impact me when they lose everything at the, at the, end, at the beginning of, of Rocky V. So, I just think that it's... See, it's all mixture because I think for Michael B. Jordan, he definitely wants to make Creed the superstar and everything. And look, I'm happy that Creed 3 has done well because look, if somebody was asking me, oh, hey, do you recommend me watching Creed 3? I'd say yes. I'd say, like, it's, it's a good film. But it's a good film that could have been far better. Because, and that's why it was almost a frustration because what you have is a good film, but it had the potential to be so, so superb. Because that story of Dame and Adonis, and Dame reminding Adonis where he came from, and Dame having that kind of a hunger and so forth, is very key. Because it's almost, see, you don't want it to completely mirror Rocky Three by saying, like, okay, he beats him and he now has to re-recover and so forth. But I feel that's okay in the fight. I feel that in the fight, there should be moments when they, like, is beating the crap out of Adonis and he even knocks him down. And Adonis is realizing, oh, no, this is a truly big guy. And the fact that he's beating him, there's also that undercurrent of we were friends before, we were boys before. So, but I just felt that that final fight, well, as cool as it looks and everything, it just felt very plain. And also, again, because I watched the films, the best camera walk in all of the Rocky films is in Creed 1. Because I watched Creed 1 again and I'm like, oh, no, 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 that's... Like, obviously, the most dramatic is Rock, Rock, is Rock Rocky 2, specifically the ending. But in terms of just technical camera walk, what Kugler does in Creed 1 is, from, for me, is outstanding. I thought this was cool. I could be, I, I didn't know what he was trying to go for. A very, it was very much anime influenced. But I just felt that, mm, it, it lacked that bit of realness, man. But I just think that there was a potential for, like, the Dame character to be really interesting. To be really, really, really cool. And for, for you to take in places where he really is champion. And they had to create an element of, okay, this is a very difficult guy to, to, to beat. So it's almost a two-flex. A difficult guy to beat because, really, he probably is more naturally talented than Adonis. And he's my friend. So there's also that friend element as well that is also at, at the undercurrent, you know. But I think, overall, you need Rocky. I don't, so if let's say you're making a Creed 4 or Creed 5, because even watching the film, I was like, okay, this is cool, but that's Rocky elements is important because it's, it's, it's very key. Now, here's the thing though, and here's what people said Rocky probably should have died in Creed 1 or Creed, Creed 2. Probably in Creed 1. He should have probably have died, and that should have now really been the nucleus, but it's still alone. He, he ain't never gonna kill Rocky. <laughs> it ain't never gonna happen, you know. And also, especially with what is happening with the rights. Because Erin Winkler now has all the rights to it. It's crazy. I mean, maybe that's for another video of like the, the Rocky rights and so forth because that is complicated. But um, yeah, man. Um, but yeah, look, overall, watch it. You know, you know, you know, give it a view. I mean, if I was to rank this and so forth, I'd give this a... I'd give this a tier two. A tier two. I'd give this a tier two for the... For the acting, specifically specifically from Jonathan Majors and Jonathan, Jonathan Majors and the story idea. I, I did like the whole story idea and so forth. But it fails to get that and also the direction was solid. Solid the direction. But it fails to get that upper tier two um tier one status.
because I just felt the film didn't really go places and it didn't really have like a third or a fourth dimension to really make it really take it to that next plot out. So, so that's my view over there, man. Peace.